ideally each film is its own world. Joel and Ethan, they're very specific about location and period and the way people speak, the way they dress, and I want the music to be specific um, in the same way. For True Grit, the book is all written from Maddie Ross's voice, and it's filled with church language. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. My idea was that church music would help remind you why she's doing this, that this misplaced sense of righteousness and desire for justice is based in her church learning. And Ethan said that, that he had had exactly the same idea. The reference for him was this hymn, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. While they were shooting, I spent the summer going through hymn books and playing lots of stuff. I found four or five things I thought were interesting. But still, I think in the end, you know, once they had Leaning on the Everlasting Arms in their mind, it was, um, it was very hard to dislodge it. So that became the opening and closing music of the movie. We sort of go through a series of hymns at the beginning of the film when Maddie is trying to develop her plan to pursue her father's murderer. But as Maddie goes into the wilderness, she ends up in a dark place and the hymns kind of get left behind. Well, you're little Maddie the bookkeeper. Isn't that something? Yes, and I know you, Tom Cheney. Cheney is merciless and um, a dangerous man, but he's dangerous because he's dumb. So the music really just plays him as an unreasoning, unthinking force. So his theme is really just like percussion and something that pushes. When we finally go to record, and I'm suddenly surrounded by 80 uh, people, I love the opportunity to learn from the musicians. Take the scene with snakes. If I had to say, okay, I, I need a sound from the woodwinds, it would be like snakes. What have you got? You know, what can you suggest? Point, yeah, we take the basses and pitch them way down to the lowest possible sound they can make, you know, detune the instruments. Those are just my favorite experiences. But I usually say what the role of music is in a film, it's to tell you something you wouldn't know otherwise. In True Grit, it's the religiosity of Maddie and her determination. And finally, the Rooster Cogburn and Maddie's relationship. <laughs> 